and I'm a freshman at Eden Christian Academy. I'm also a volunteer at the Education Partnership, which is where I am today. This place serves 750 teachers, which gives them the supplies which they distribute out to 7,500 students. Here, the teachers can come, get the extra school supplies instead of having to pay out of pocket for them, and they are able to give the kids the tools that they need. Here, let me show you. This is where teachers come to check in. They get a clipboard, fill out their information, then they grab a cart. The teachers love seeing all the different supplies that they are able to give to the students, which help them throughout the day. These are crayons left behind at restaurants and other places. There are about 15,000 crayons that are given out to teachers. If you look here, you see glue sticks. There are jumbo glue sticks and mini glue sticks that come in packs of 12. 59,000 glue sticks go out every year to teachers that need them for the classroom. Here we have pencils. 252,000 pencils go out every year to the kids. The kids need the extra pencils because, as I said, they're worrying more about whether or not they have pencils than learning about the lesson. And then you come down here to the extra stuff, which is incentives. And there are the Sharpies and extra highlighters and calendars and awards for the kids. Then as you walk through these doors, there's a library that kids use for book reports, summer reading, or just extra reading for fun. The teachers love going in here because they're allowed to get as many books as they want. There's art books, fiction books, children books, and the kids love them. Then from here, you get to the clearance section. The clearance section, the teachers are allowed to get as much as they want. There's coffee paper, markers, music, extra binders. They're allowed to take as many binders as they want. Yeah, they might be able to get five binders over there, but here they can get an extra five binders. This section is where volunteers will come and unpackage uh, cartons of supplies that come in. They unbox and count the supplies and put them into the system. When it's put into the system, the education partnership knows how many supplies are coming in that they're able to give out to teachers. This is one of the computer stations. This is where teachers fill out surveys that help the education partnership know what they're doing right or wrong. This is just something that teachers can give to us since we give them so much. And they don't mind filling it out because it can help us just do something better. This is warehouse number one, as we like to call it. This has so many boxes and shelves filled with pallets and supplies that come through. The supplies come through and are put into boxes that are put onto pallets. The pallets are filled with supplies that are then taken into warehouse number two. As you look at this table here, you see all of the thank you cards that the kids from the schools have given to the education partnership. If you look at this card, it's all the kids saying thank you for the folders and paper clips and the index cards, the crayons, the tape, and the glue sticks. These kids love getting all the supplies that the Education Partnership can provide for them. If you look over here, you see the kits that are given out to kids around Christmas time. It's almost like an extra Christmas present for them. There's pencils, crayons, erasers, toothpaste, and toothbrushes actually kids need. That can just be something else that you can donate. 